So hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video about the Chinese Super League and uh, now we have the new champs. Uh, probably I was expecting their, their like celebration to happen probably a week ago, but it is what it is. Uh, it's a draw against Shandong Taishan that gives Shanghai Port their uh, title. Uh, they are Chinese champs. They succeed to one three towns that won the title last year. One three towns that win as well against a Shenzhen side that uh, next year is gonna be in the second division and we see how that goes. I hope to see them back into the Super League uh, as soon as possible. But really, I mean, if we talk about the Shanghai Port season, that's like gonna be the main focus of this review. Uh, Shanghai Port played a great season. Uh, they had a great team. And uh, for me, honestly, I thought they were going to be one of the favorites to win, eventually win, perhaps, the AFC Champions League. They uh, surprisingly didn't even qualify for the quali uh, for the group stage after being eliminated eliminated in the qualifying. But um, yeah, I mean, great season. <laughs> Besides that, great season. Uh, Oscar played really well, and we talked all, we talk a lot about these stars that came to the Chinese Super League a few years ago, and then many of them left. Many of them left, and if we think like the ones that have a stick around, uh, they are Oscar for Shanghai Port and uh, Felaini for Shandong Taishan and they are first and second this year so I mean Fellaini is the captain for uh, Shandong Taishan is playing really well Oscar I mean as well with Shanghai Port you, c you can say that uh, they stick around and they are helping their teams uh, really really well um, Shandong Taishan that with this draw as we can see the standings right here um, now are, they are at 55 points, 5 points behind Shanghai Port, of course with one game left, this means title for Shanghai Port, and then be be behind them there are Zhejiang and Shen uh, Shanghai Shenhua, Shanghai Shenhua and Zhejiang uh, that uh, have Shanghai uh, have a draw, he came up with a draw against Jimin Tiger, and Zhejiang have won big time against um, against Changzhou, 6-1 to one is the final result and they're gonna face each other in the next game um, so we already know that uh, one of them probably is going to be uh, the third um, the third classified in these standings and it's gonna qualify to an AFC Champions League uh, an AFC um, Champions League 2 uh, spot next year and yeah, I mean, this is gonna be interesting. This is probably, probably we can say the most interesting game of the season, the one that's going uh, ha to happen in a few days. And yeah, behind them, Chengdu with the f at 50 points, Chengdu that have won against Beijing Guan, basically taking off, taking off Beijing Guan, uh, any last hopes of getting into an. Uh, and, uh, an Asian competition spot. Then we we see last year's champs won three towns that are improving a little bit with this win against Shenzhen. This helps. Uh, perhaps they have in goal to be in a top five spot with the next game. But I mean, we see how that goes. Then Jimen Tiger 45, Changchun at 39. Changchun that has uh, had a draw against Henan that are behind them in the standings at 36. Hack FC at 34, Hack FC that has lost big time against Nantong and Nantong side are 22, they are trying to get away from the hot spots, uh, King Dao are 27, King Dao are out of it and they draw against Dian Pro 2-2 two two is the final result, Dian Pro at 20 points, they still have a kind of slight hope to get uh, back into uh, Nantong, but we see how that goes next match week. And uh, as I said before, Changzhou has lost big time against Zhejiang. I mean, uh, they don't have anything to fight for. Uh, this 
end of the season so it's uh, we can say it's pretty normal even though the result is a little bit tough they stand at 30 points three points in front of king dao um that has, as i said before has came up with a draw against time pro and yeah that's pretty much it for this review um i mean really next next match week is gonna be a big 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 focus on shanghai shenhua against Jai Jung FC and yeah again congratulations to Shanghai Port great season by them I'm gonna make a special video talking about all the champs of all, er, each and every league that I cover in this channel and yeah I mean of course of the of the championships that have ended because we know in the super league a league have just started uh, the Thai league I mean as well they are in the beginning so we're gonna talk about Chinese Super League champs, the Shanghai Port, K League champs, Usan Hyundai, and we see who's gonna win the J League. It's it's a fight between uh, Visakov and Yokohama Frenos, but that's gonna be interesting as well. And yeah, I uh, thank you all for watching. Please consider putting a like, subscribing to the channel if you if you like what I do, and I hope to see you all very very soon. Thank you very much.